Last time we talked about what a review is and how to start thinking about our review topics. So we talked about a review being a report on something you like or don't like based on your opinion. And then here are some of the things that we can review. And this list doesn't include everything that you can review, just some ideas to get you started. So you should have started to think of the different things that you could review, like your favorite movies and books and games. But today we're going to start thinking about how we write our review. So the first thing you need to do when you are writing a review is think about what your opinion is. We've already talked about opinions being something that you believe. So the first thing we do when we're writing a review is think about our opinion on that topic. After we pick our topic, we need to tell our readers what we think about it. So we can start by saying, I think this restaurant is the best restaurant in town. Another thing we can do is we can give it a rating. We can give it five stars if we really like it. Or if we like it a lot, but not all the way to five stars, we can give it four stars. And if you don't like it at all, you can give it zero stars or one star. Another thing you can do to share your opinion is say something like, I give it a thumbs up. After you write your opinion and tell the reader what that is, you need to give reasons. Opinions are a lot stronger when we have reasons to support them because you're not just saying what your opinion is, you're explaining your opinion. So, I really like the book, Pete the Cat, because reason one, because reason two, because reason three. One, two, three reasons will help you to have a really strong opinion so that when your reader's reading about this, they can become convinced that you really know what you're talking about. So we have our opinion, our reasons, and then the last thing we like to do, we like to end with a recommendation. So a recommendation means that you're giving somebody else an idea of what to do about what they've just read. So we've heard somebody say, I recommend, right? You're going to recommend that whoever's reading this goes to the restaurant that you're talking about or downloads the game that you're talking about. Maybe you're not giving it a good review, then you can say, I highly recommend you don't download this game. I highly recommend you skip this book. You can say things like, everyone has to try the pizza at my favorite pizza shop. It is so good. Everyone has to try it. Or you can say something like, avoid this restaurant. It's not very good. Or you could even talk about things to avoid in your restaurant that you like. I really love my local restaurant, but you should avoid the pasta dish. It's not very good. Okay, so these are all just different ways that we could end our writing. So when we're writing a review, we have our opinion, we have our reasons, and we have our recommendation. These are the things I want you to think about as you start to write your review. You can plan on an organizer or on a piece of notebook paper and start to think about what your opinion is, what your three reasons are, and what your recommendation is to the person reading your review.